Hey everyone, Mitch here. In this tips and tricks video, we're going to be looking at how you can edit a map without your players seeing. To keep things simple, Albert Rodeo only shows one map at a time, so whatever the map I have selected, our players will see. What this means is in the case where we want to upload a map and maybe edit it without our players seeing, we'll first actually need to create a new game. Okay, so I've created a new window with a new instance of Albert Rodeo running. I'm just going to start a new fresh game here. And the first thing you'll notice is that uh, the maps are different because they are different games. So what I'm going to do here is uh, first I'm going to upload the map that we want into our new game and then make all our changes in that. And then in our original game, I'll then select that map and our players will be able to see it. Okay, so to show how things work a little bit behind the scenes, I'm going to hit the select map button on our first game as well, just so we can see how things uh, sync across the different games. So say our players have uh, suddenly entered a library that we weren't expecting them to. So I'm going to maybe quickly Google search for a library map where I have one here that I've downloaded from a Patreon of uh, Ori the Cartographer. So I'm just going to upload it here. And you'll notice even if I upload it on the window to the right, it is automatically synced to our game to the left. With that imported, I'm going to select it here. And as I select the map on the right, You'll notice on the left nothing has changed, so our players won't see anything different. And now I can quickly add in some fog here and say, no, I don't want you to see anything. And then I'm going to maybe cut out a few shapes of uh, maybe this building here and this, this section here. And uh, say they will show everything else by default, but just these sections. So I'm going to toggle these on, toggle that off. See what our players see. Okay, that's looking good. Maybe I'll add, maybe this is a, a library full of monks. So I'll add a few monks here. Okay, we're looking good. We've set up our map kind of hastily on the fly. And all of this is out of the view of our players as they're kind of looking at our original map. Now, all I need to do is I can close this window here. Now in our original game that has all our players connected, I can select our map here and grab our library and you'll see all our changes are there. So we have the fog we added, the monks are here and any other changes that we wanted to do on the fly will have been synced over to our first game. And with that, that is how you edit or add maps uh, without your players seeing. But that is all for this tips and tricks video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.